Hi and welcome to show 63. Totally, yeah, number 63. And we Hard are to follow last week. Yeah, we are still buzzing from the uh, uh, interview that we had with uh, DJ Billy Business uh, when he came into the shed. It was fantastic. Um, so many more things that we wanted to ask him as well. So uh, it was. Blew us away. It won't be the last we see of him. No, no, no. We've no, become no, no. firm friends. That's right, that's right, that's right. Or stalkers. Oh, yeah, well, basically. He doesn't know that we're firm friends, but we're <laughs> going to stalk him anyway. So we've heard that he's got a flat full of records, so we're going to be uh, camping out there. Um, anyway, what's this, Brad? This is a new one from you. Uh, this is the Texas Rumble by the Imaginary Visions. I uh, got it from um, Fat City the other week. It's nice. Yeah, wiki. Really I nice. like it. Yeah. I don't know anything about uh, the Imaginary Visions. It's on Deep Funk label. So, nice. Look it out. Yeah, cheap. wicked stuff. Um, it's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah, we've got a mixed bag again this week. Uh, we've got another old school UK hip hop bit uh, just to pay homage uh, to the man who was in the shed last week. Nice. Not by him, but uh, certainly on uh, the same label that he was on with the London Posse, so uh, that's a good one. Um, Right, so uh, coming up next we've got uh, an alternative version of the JB's Blow Your Head. Um, it will blow your head. And it will blow your head. Ooh. From a break to a break. First it sounds like there's something missing. And there is. There's no Moog. Yeah. It's brilliant. Well, not. I love the Moog in Blow Your Head, but it's lovely hearing this alternative take. And this wasn't released, was it? No, no, but uh, some kind soul uh, re-released it a few years back, so I think you can get this for about £5 or something like that on uh, Discogs or eBay or wherever you want to look. Really nice version, alternative little uh, take on Blow Your Head by the JB's. Fantastic. Yeah, it is really good. And it's on the People label as well, so it's a white People label. If you want, you can buy this and just do your own move impression over the top of it. That's right, yeah. yeah. Like me and Brad do all the time. Off camera, we're just moving it out all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm um, this week displaying um, an Innovate t-shirt, and these are the guys that sponsor DJSD, so uh, thanks very much for giving um, it to us. <laughs> my Ejectos t-shirt. Wicked. Ejectos is excellent. Check out their stuff. Excellent. It comes in nice little packages. Really cool. An Ejecto pack. Well, there you go. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Like stuff. Right. Well, uh, now we're going to go to uh, one of the kings of rock and roll, Little Richard, and um, it's a bit of a funker, I have to say. Also, we're recording this in the night time, as you might guess, because we look moths. a bit tired and there's moths and flies flying around absolutely everywhere. So excuse that if one does actually crawl onto the screen or something <laughs> like that. Anyway, here's Little Richard. Yeah, little Richard uh, certainly got his funk on uh, when it hit, came to the 70s. Um, this uh, I did, I got in a trade with uh, Mr. Format about a year ago actually. Wicked, wicked tune. Don't know why we haven't played it sooner actually. Um, and it's a track called Can I Count on You by Little Richard on Brunswick. And it's a killer, killer tune. I love his voice. His voice is brilliant. I love someone who screams. Brilliant. Soul training outside for well. Yeah, yeah, real good. Yes, yeah, uh -oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Mad as a bag of squirrels, I think, and um, and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you said that. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. You used to like dressing up in women's clothes and wearing makeup. Yep. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Not. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Gotta cut some rug to this. Yes. Anyway, uh, from this we're going to go to Spain uh, for a Spanish little seven that I picked up uh, last week. I think it was only on a Spanish 7, but it's a great little bit of a 60s slice. See? Uh, yeah, see, see. So there we go. This is from Spain, which is weird, because that's actually where I am at the moment. Again, through the shed TARDIS, Brad has material has a little lized himself into the shed. It's some sort of hot shed time machine. Well, I think so. Um, 
Yeah, this is Hugo Montenegro and uh, Mood Power. Uh, I've had the album for ages, which I really like it because of its quirkiness. But this is a nice little seven. This is. See. On RCA Victor Espana. That ah uh, sounds a lot like uh, Malcolm McLaren, doesn't it? Not, not, not the way he speaks or anything, but he wasn't a duck. <laughs> we honestly have not been smoking anything this week, alright? Nice breakdown. It's better. It does indeed. Um, yeah, uh, so this sort of like goes nicely into uh, the, the next track that's coming up, which is uh, seems to be from, uh, well, it's, it's kind of brand new actually, and it's um, it's really good. It's a uh, KPM music library, but it's unreleased recordings from the KPM books. Uh, <clears throat> one side's called New York Trouble, the, the other side's called Electric Progression. Uh, all seem to be by Herbie Flowers, um, or Barry Flowers. Barry Flowers, who knows? Anyway, uh, but uh, this one sounds very much like the Incredible Bongo Band, actually, and this is on Tummy Touch Records, and uh, it's, uh, it's wicked, really good, so here we go. Chris, do you want to talk a little bit about your new KPM? Well, I just did, but... Uh, <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Herbie Flowers. Yeah. Um, this one's called High Five Shakedown, and it's a fast percussion lead action theme. And it's very much, sounds like Bongo Rock by the Incredible Bongo Band. And it sounds also like one of the DeWolf albums that I've got as well, but it's really, really good. And there's loads of really good bits on this, so it's well worth picking up. It's about 12 quid or something. This is lovely, though. Yeah. So, yeah. Please go and get one. Yeah. Yeah. What did you get yours? I got mine from Piccadilly Records in Manchester uh, on their website, which is a very good website, I have to say. So, uh, thank you very much. Probably could have got it somewhere closer, but they came through with the goods very, very quickly as well. So, I ordered it one day, it arrived the next day. So, there you go. Wow. Wows, indeed, yeah. Nice. Cool. Next we got a bit of uh, UK hip hop. Yeah, we're going to go back to the source and uh, yeah, we got uh, a wicked, wicked one coming up. So uh, here we go. We do get hype. Right, team, what a tune. Yeah, this is Trouble, I get hype on. Tim Westwood's Justice Label. Uh, pretty hard to find, I believe. Uh, probably doesn't go quite for as much as, as much money as it used to, but uh, killer. And it was really nice being able to talk to DJ Business because he could talk about this stuff because he was there, you know, you know, friends with him, you know, in the same studio and all that sort of stuff. So felt we had to play something. If you didn't watch that episode last week yet, yeah, make sure you do it. Yeah, yeah, really good, really good. Yeah. Makes you proud to be British as well. The next bit we've got isn't just British, or just American, it's in the middle. <laughs> it does, it does. In the middle. Yeah. It's a bit like the shed. Unity. Yeah, we, we, we bond. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a great bit of big, 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 big band uh, funk that Brad's picked up recently. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I was right, he was yeah. wrong. Right, usual. It's a nice bit from Soundside, new bit. So. Oh, yeah. Regular viewers would have uh, know that uh, it's a format played a bit of Soundside when you came in all the way back in episode six or seven. Yeah. A long time ago. Yeah, this is a great little one coming format out. Format there from the beginning. Because he loves that. Wicked. Anyway, here we go with the new sound side. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. This is the ultimate breaks and beats mix from the sound side. Yeah. Back in uh, artwork by Mr. Crumb. Yeah. Exactly like one of the Alma Breaks and Beats albums. It's uh, really clever Start with sound side. Yeah. We got the super top of focus, the ultimate. Introduce myself, my 
Yeah, it sounds sire, a nice collaboration between the British and the American scenes in it. Well, it, seems well. To be, it seems to be working well, doesn't it, with, uh, you know, British producers and DJs working with American MCs and, yeah, really, yeah, really enjoying some of the stuff that's been coming out over the last few years. And this, again, wicked. Yeah, you can get this now, but well, hopefully you can still get it if, well, you know, but right through, we'll put the details up now, mm, but you may have missed it, I don't know. Uh, uh, one thing also, um, that kinetic effect. Yeah, that we played a couple of uh, weeks ago. Um, the, the boys have actually got a few copies left, so if anybody out there actually wants one, then let us know and we'll see if we can arrange something. We try to deliver to you for love. Yeah, not, not for sexual love. Really, really. When I rock Remarkable flows are spit on when the drum beat nice competition ain't nothing Top Break. Fantastic. Yeah, and from this medley of uh, breakbeats that have all been lovingly spliced together, we've got uh, uh, Brad's Charity Shop Breakbeat coming up next. Nice little break as well. Oh, so here we go. Sounds a bit like the Muppets actually okay. at the beginning, yeah. This is Jack Parnell, big band show. And uh, the breaks, him and uh, him and Ronnie Farrell, I think was animal from the Muppets. Because Jack Parnell was the uh let's break first. <laughs> Jack Parnell was the uh, conductor of the Muppets Orchestra. Oh right, okay, there you go. And, um, and there you go, and there he is. Yeah. On drums. Because the Muppets was actually made here for English TV. That's right, yeah. People never realised that. Yes. A bit like the uh, American uh, rappers who are uh, doing stuff with the English guys. The Muppets did the same. It is. Yeah. Yes, nice break. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of the rest of the song now uh, and, go to, and go to our theme of the week, which is a, a cheeky slice of uh, UK film from early 70s. There we go. There you go. Before the internet, if you fancied a little bit of cheeky time on your own and you couldn't find the page from an old discarded porn in Magan Park, uh -huh. you had to hope that your dad, or the girl next door's dad, had a confessions movie. That's right, usually confessions of a window cleaner, yep, but... That's right. The only, only one that actually made it onto vinyl was Confessions of a Pop Performer. Yet yeah, they're here, Robin Asquith and Tony Blair's father-in-law got busy uh, with a, a bunch of uh, big-breasted... A bevy of beauties. A bevy of big-breasted beauties. Um, but one track on this, this one, pretty damn funky. Uh, it's called Charlie Snow Garden. Uh, it seems to be by Sam Sclair or something like that. But yeah, it's wicked. Very nice. Anyway, that's it for us this week. Um, can't think of anything that's uh, going on. I'm sure there's okay. a Spin Doctor event. Oh, there's always a Spin Doctor There's always a Spin event. Doctor event, yeah. yeah. Always. So the details will be here. The which world's one it is. finest promoter. The world's finest promoter, that's right. Yeah. Um, next week, we are in the shed with our Scottish friend, Ouija, from the Funk and Groove Show, the funkiest DJ. North of the border, oh, in a tie with Scratch and Sit Down probably actually. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, yeah, we were on his radio show some time ago, he's coming down to the shed to see us. That's right, so yeah, improving the, uh, you know, Scottish-English yeah. relations. Uh, Before you know. they go their own way. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that actually, so that's going to be a good one. Yeah. So uh, yeah, tune in then. Anyway, yeah, cool. See you later.